Hello Bloganeers, today we're going to unbox and review Pictures by Rio Grande Games. This game won Spiel de Jars 2020, which is the game of the year, so that's a huge award. It's for 3 to 5 players, it takes 30 minutes, and it's for ages 14 and up. And I'm going to read the short description on the back. Pictures is a quick playing family game with very simple rules. Form the image on your secret picture card with one set of components, either shoelaces, color cubes, icon cards, sticks, and stones or building blocks in such a way that the other players guess what image you have pictured. Even though this is for ages 14 and up, I'm pretty sure that younger players can play because this is supposed to be a family game, so which means that even though we're not 14, it should be alright. And that is pretty much all to the back. So now let's open this up. Yeah, maybe let's flip it over first. We unwrapped the game and it's time to open it for the first time. Let's see if it farts. No, it doesn't. It doesn't fart. <laughs> it doesn't fart. Sometimes the game box farts. Here is the rules. Oh, it's actually not a rule book. It's just a single page, which means that the instructions should be very simple, which like is great said. because one of my least favorite parts about games is reading the long rule book. But this is just a rule sheet, so it's awesome. And on the back side is German rules, but there's also English rules. Whoa, it's only one board of punching. Oh, yeah. One board of punching. Picture of a bee. So these tokens tell you where in the grid is the pi correct picture you're trying to guess because there's going to be so many pictures in a grid and the token will indicate the one that you want the people to guess. There's also A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4, which I'm not sure what it's about. It's for the grid. Okay. Oh, this is like the golfing card, but it, it's, a, it's a pictures card for scoring. Here are the actual pictures. There's a whole deck of these, but the ones that we can see are the umbrella and the bee. So I think these are double-sided. Is this the train from Knott's Berry Farm? No, this is just a, a train. And, he, and on the back is this symbol, so and, even more cards. And here are the materials to, that you can build with. First of all, the cube, the color the, cube, mm -hmm. the building blocks. Oh, these are made of wood. Pretty cool. Another wood material with stones. Oh, wow. Th these are s actual stones. They're That's heavy. so cool. And also sticks. Plastic bags. Yep. So I think all of these materials, such as the building blocks, the sticks, and the heavy stones. Wait, wait, wait. There's more. Shoelaces. And the shoelaces. All of these materials are for the game so that you can try to use them to like form a picture or something to get people to guess. He forgot to mention the color blocks. He forgot to bring it. And the color blocks. So you can use basically everything, I think. Okay. Or maybe the color blocks are for scoring. And here's a I'm plastic sure. bag, which I don't know. This is not a. This is a cloth bag, not a plastic bag. Oh yeah. Very, very fine quality and not plastic at all. But I don't know why you would need it for the game. Oh, and at the very bottom... Never mind. Stuff. Words. That is the unboxing for pictures. So we're really excited to play. We'll do that and then we'll come back with our review and final thoughts. And we're back. The objective of the game is to score the most points by rebuilding images of photo cards and guessing others' recreations correctly. At the start of the round, each player takes one arbitrary set of materials. So it would be either 24 colored cubes and a picture frame, six different building blocks, four sticks and four stones, 19 icon cards, or one long and one short shoelace. To begin, each player pulls out one convert coordinates token from the cloth bag, which designates their secret photo. Next, all players simultaneously rebuild the image on their secret photo card with their set of materials in a way that it is recognizable. Then it's time to guess what photo the other players pictured by writing down their coordinates on your score sheet. Now it's time to check the guesses. Before everyone reveals their coordinates, all other players name their guesses. Each player that has guessed correctly receives one point, and the player whose photo was up for guesses receives one point for each correct guess by another player. 
To prepare for the next round, you pass the set of materials to the player on the left. The game ends after five rounds, and whoever has scored the most points wins the game. And now for our final thoughts. Brother, what did you like best about the game? Um, well, my favorite material, uh, material was probably the rocks and sticks because the rocks, there's different shades of them and you can make a lot of things. Yeah, like there were some black rocks, some white rocks, and in that set, there were also four wooden sticks that look kind of cool so i think a lot of the components are great because like the cards are good quality images and all of the five sets are pretty unique there's the shoelaces the rocks and sticks the blocks the color cubes and cards the cards yeah so so here are my thoughts about each of the five sets first of all i really like how in every round you pass over the sets so you get a brand new one which means that every round feels totally different for you because you're making a clue with a different material i think that the shoelaces the rocks and the sticks and the blocks for me are not bad they're okay but the two sets that i really like the most are the cards and the color cubes the cards are like very abstract so when you're making a clue it can be tricky but you also have to think outside of the box and the color cubes are unique because i've never seen anything like it in any other game basically you're recreating the image with different color cubes and you only have a three by three grid. yeah it's a three by three grid so you can use nine cubes and it's a little bit tricky but also very fun and even though it may seem obvious in some images because of the colors you choose it's actually not that obvious and sometimes it can be the trickiest set but it's also the most fun so yeah this is a fun game to play with three to five people but i think the best number of players to have is either four or five because the the more players the better and uh brother any final thoughts do you did you like this well we were Right. <laughs> so brother, out of 10, if 10 is the best, what would Nine. you rate this game? 9 out of 10. Okay, and I think that this game is also pretty cool. It did win Spiel de Jars after all, so I think it deserved it. So I would give this an 8 out of 10. And if this looks fun to you, you can purchase this at the link in the description. Bye!